after the invasion, we had pretty much run the Taliban and Al Qaeda across the border into the, right. the tribal areas, northwest frontier province. Uh, and they were there. And Baluchistan. And Baluchistan. But I, I think the main groups that the most people are familiar with were in those areas. And after a while, we had convinced uh, the Musharraf government to take military action against them. And they did for a while. You know, in, in several years there, they put 80,000 some odd troops in those areas and, and tried to well, stop them from recon. Okay, we could. They, they put 80,000 troops, that's right, exactly. Toward what, them. What, what they did with the 80,000 troops. Okay. Well, they, they killed a lot of people and caused some trouble, but eventually, they got killed as well. <laughs> and eventually, because of that, they started making treaties. You know, in about 2004, they started making treaties right. with some of the Taliban-dominated uh, tribal areas. You know, some of the leaders who were, but not in Pakistan, who were uh, once again the the Quetta province and et cetera. But I'd like yeah. your opinion as to whether those treaties with Pakistan gave the Taliban again safe haven to recruit, retrain, and refit through 2004 and six. Yeah. And then, then that was a large, you know, that was really 2006 when the large-scale reinfiltrations began and our problems. And once again, we saw that maybe we could switch then from counter-terror to counter-insurgency because we needed to safeguard the population. No, you, 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 I think very well uh, indicated what the situation was. Uh, the Pakistani... Pause. Uh, Jim Hansen from Black Five because I didn't identify myself. They want for the live stream. Okay. Um, what uh, what we saw was that the they had reconstituted themselves, and uh, all through this period, what you got was a new recruitment, uh, facilitated by Al Qaeda. Uh, you got financial assistance coming to uh, a, a new force of uh, of Taliban. Uh, uh, they weren't sitting idly, waiting. The Pakistan military's campaign always was, though, to contain the problem. It was never really to eliminate the problem. Even now, when there is a strong military effort in, North, in South Waziristan, which is the homeland of the Pakistani Taliban, it's still <coughs> questionable about whether they won't go back into political deals, except this time do it from a position of strength rather than weakness. So it's, uh, it, it's very true. We, look, we had no interest in making uh, much of an effort in Afghanistan, obviously because of Iraq. I think you all recognize that. That because of Iraq, we had no desire to get pinned down in Afghanistan. We wanted to free up, particularly among special, with special forces, to free up as much of, of our military as we could. Uh, we felt that we had essentially, for a long time, that we had dealt with the problem. We had, we had yes, they had escaped. Remember that the leadership of both the Taliban, Al Qaeda, and other insurgents groups like Gulbuddin Hekmatyar and 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 the Haqqani group had escaped, the leadership had escaped virtually intact. We knew this, but we felt, felt, we felt that for a long time they were a spent force and that we didn't have the interest. We also thought that, wrongly so, that if we came in with large numbers and we took over large parts of, that is if we moved into large parts of the country, uh, because the central government could not exert any authority over very much more than Kabul province, that if we did that, we were going to be viewed as occupiers. And, any, and that fit very well with our notion that we don't do nation building. So we had, we had a, uh, uh, a rationale which went along with the fact that our planning for Iraq began about the same time that we had succeeded in Afghanistan. It was already in the works. I would look, I was doing the intelligence work on this. And I wasn't fully aware of what was being, what was going on in terms of the planning for Iraq, but it already was there by early, certainly early 2002, even though we wouldn't go